Now, we're talking about supernatural business, right? So, uh, be an astonishment. 1 Corinthians 127 says, God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. God loves to take the underdog and show his strength through that person. He loves it. I mean, we all like to root for the underdogs, right? I mean, God loves to do that because it's his glory. And now, you know, you say, well, why would God call me to do that? Just because you asked that. You don't think you can because he knows he can. And he loves to be seen in that situation. Amen. That's awesome. So first of all, let's understand this. We're going to dive into I'm a spiritual scientist. You're a spiritual scientist. We understand that there are principles we can learn and laws that we can, in other words, we should be able to do that. I mean, one day they're nothing, right? Nothing. They're fail nothing. No bills paid, catch nothing. And then within a day, they have two boats packed to sinking. If that doesn't catch your attention, you must just be, I don't know. <laughs> but if you understand the kingdom's based on laws, and it's not because Jesus was there, but because Jesus was tapping into the laws, then you might get your pencil out which is what happened. So let's, let's digest this, this, uh, let's digest this event because we all can live in this area. We should, we can live here. The difference of the, no king, you know, the earth curse system is trying and two boats sinking. So what's the effect? They left it and followed Jesus. How many people would follow Jesus if they saw those kinds of effects in your life? What about the fish market? Can you imagine them going down to the fish market? <laughs> I don't know how many wagons or however they transport fish off the boat. Can you imagine? Bring them this way, guys. There's a whole line down that road of people with carts bringing those fish down there. And they're talking to Peter about how that happened. Yep, that's how it is. All right, so write this down. First off, we're going to dig into spiritual law. First off, that would have never happened unless Peter got Jesus into that boat, right? We'd all agree there, right? Jesus is the one that told Peter where the fish were, how to catch them, and I'm gonna add something to catch the fish, the harvest, we'll talk about that. Location, method, and harvest. I said it that way because that's kind of looks like in the story, but it's actually in reverse. We'll get that straightened out later. So how did Jesus get into that boat? Right? Well, Peter gave him the keys. You ever given the keys to someone and let them drive? So Peter gave Jesus the keys or the authority to drive his boat. Right? The boat came under Jesus' jurisdiction, his authority. Jesus was driving, in a sense. And we all know, we've taught this many times, the boat came under, the boat changed jurisdiction, correct? Came under the kingdom of God, came under Jesus' assignment. So Jesus is now directing the fishing. He's now directing where the boat goes. He is, he's taken over the boat. So how did he get in the boat? How do you get Jesus in your business, all right, where he's directing it because he knows where the fish are at. He knows what to do to, to capture what you need to capture. How do you get him in the boat? It's easy. Make him a partner. Make him a partner. 